Now, are you ready for the answer to the blast in the past this morning? Now, as you know, I played you three songs and I asked you which year. We started with I'm a Believer, The Monkeys. We had White a Shade of Pale with Procol Harum and we finished with San Francisco, Scott McKenzie. I had several people that actually got the year right, but I've actually got one of them on the phone who's going to talk to me now. And it's Janet. Hello, Janet. Hi, Sam. Hello, Janet. So you guessed the year, didn't you? Oh, yes. Do you remember those songs? <laughs> I hope so. In my <laughs> teenage years, I hope so. Ah, uh, so what year? 1967. Yes, it was. Ah, yes, it was. And they sort of spread out through that year, starting um, at the beginning of the year through to um, sort of July. And it was a lot of fun this morning because I looked up some facts about... You know what other uh, what else was happening in the world at that time, so uh, that was good. Now, what sort of like music do you like then, Janet? Sixties uh, music, rock and roll. I'm a big Elvis fan. Right. Okay. And uh, obviously, we don't have Elvis now, but no. there's lots of tributes out there. So, um, have you got any favourite tributes? Well. <laughs> I'm a big Rebel Dean fan. He's not exactly a tribute artist, but, um, yes, he sings Elvis, Eddie Cochran, oh, lots. Now, you've been ringing, you have been ringing me, haven't you, lately? Yes. And, uh, you know, and I know that you've been tuned in, and you asked me to play Rebel, so we have been playing a little bit of Rebel, which is quite new, I think, to this station, but it's, he's got, um, a great singer, uh, and he does a, a lot of different um, tributes, doesn't he? he does, other, yes. other than Elvis. What other ones do you like? Elvis, him? Eddie Cochran, Ricky Nelson, and Shaking Stevens. Mm, he's uh, absolutely excellent with Shaking Stevens, isn't he? He is, yes. mm. And he's, uh, he's done a lot, hasn't he? He doesn't just just um, do those things. He's he's been on television. Oh, he's been on lots of programs over the years. Casualty, Fools and Horses, um, Ordinary Lies, Hollyoaks. You name it. He's oh, he's done a lot. lot. So he's been in films. He's been in the West End, Palladium, World Tours, everything. Everything. Now he he was with the group, wasn't he? Rebel Dean and the Stray Cats. The Star Cats. Yes, that's his group at the moment. His main thing at the moment is. Um, a whole lot of shaking. It's a show um, for Shaking Stevens, really, and um, he's touring all over the country with that at the moment. He has the Star Cats on that with him. It's an absolutely fantastic show. I've been to see it a few times now, and it plays all of Shakey's 80s hits, all the ones we all love, all the ones we can sing along to, and it also includes, uh, includes Elvis uh, from the Elvis musical selection. Mm. So how, how long have you been a Rebel Dean fan, then? Uh, about 12 years, I think, now. Have you? Somewhere along there. <laughs> really? Have you actually met him in person? Yes, I've often spoken to him after shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh that's nice. And um, uh, what is it that you like about him, then? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, he's just... He, he gives 100% when he's on stage. And being such a big Elvis fan as well, his, his Elvis is incredible. When I first went to see him, and he was performing as Elvis and Eddie Cochran, Ricky Nelson, Shakey and that, to be quite honest, I really wasn't looking forward to it because um, there's so many people that perform as Elvis and they're absolutely rubbish. Mm. Uh, but when he came on the stage, he had such a, a presence about him and he looked so much like Elvis. And then when he, he started does. to sing, mm. it, was, it was just, well goosebumps mm. <laughs> you could feel the whole audience could feel it you know mm. he's, he's just totally incredible what he can do oh that's nice so from then on you've been actually following following him yes go to all sorts of shows and things that he's in but but for me at the moment um it's the it's the shaking stevens a whole lot of shaking uh it's, it's it's just a fantastic show and if you get a chance to go and see him in this show you have to it's, it's incredible so where does he play most then because i haven't actually really heard of him around here he's all over the country all over the country i mean the next few shows for a whole lot of shaking he's in exmouth that's in march april camberley uh, June, it's in Runcorn in Cheshire, July, it's Epsom. It's all, uh, if you go to his website, okay. www.rebeldean.com, it'll show you all his dates. They're adding more all the time. Um, 
and also on that website, obviously, it's going to tell you everything about him, all the things he's done, the things he's been in, his CDs, albums, everything, you know. Uh, he's done he's done several albums, though, hasn't oh, he, over yeah, the years? Oh, yes, yes, he's done lots of albums. The, mm. the newest, the most up-to-date two are Rebellion and Rock and Roll Gypsy, which I get you to play a few times. <laughs> you do, you do, indeed. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's done everything, he really has. Mm. And as I say, he's still performing with the Star Cats, uh, when he's not um, performing a whole lot of shaking, then he's off at fe- rock and roll festivals and weekenders with the Star Cats. Um, he's just on the go the whole time, to be quite honest with you. He doesn't stop. I don't know how I, they do it. No, I don't. Now, he also, um, he's appearing in uh, Rock and Roll Paradise, which is a huge show that's touring. Yes, yes he guests in that, yes. Mm-hmm. That's coming up, I think, next week. I think next month he's in. Ah, oh, yeah. and where's that going to be next week, then? <laughs> I'm just trying to think now you've said that. I can't think where it is next week. He's coming moment. to Epsom. Wales. Oh, crikey, uh, fair way away. Now, I do know he's coming to Epsom yes. on the 8th of April. Um, 7th, 7th or 8th of April? 7th, I think. Do we know 7th or 8th? Um, uh, April to Camberley, did you say? No, no, in Epsom. Epsom he's coming on the 7th. July. Th- That's July the 19th, so a whole lot of shaking. Right, but no, he's going to be actually starring in Rock, and roll, rock and roll Paradise yeah. Yeah. on the 7th of April. That's it, at Epsom. That's, I think, probably the closest one to us, so that would be one that we'll be trying to get to. Yep. And, and we'll be promoting that show for him. Oh, that's brilliant. Now, I, as you say, he really does look like Elvis. Yeah. Incredible. He does. Now, I looked up a, f- a few little facts about him, just to see. It's quite funny what they put on there, because, I mean, he does modelling as well. In the past, yes, mm. he's done that sort of thing, yes. Mm, but, because you know. I had a little look on his website, and as I say, and they say he's 5 foot 10, 165 pounds, and he's got hazel eyes. <laughs> so, you know... Li- <laughs> I've never looked that close. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's kind of sold it to us, hasn't it, to start with, especially us girls. Oh, Janet. Yes, Janet. There's lots of young lady friends out there. They're all massive fans. All ages, not just young fans. All ages. There was something on Facebook, actually, on Valentine's Day, which I thought was really sweet that he posted, and it was a picture of him and his wife, oh, and, he, and, he, and yeah. he put that, you know, they met on Valentine's Day 13 years ago. Yeah, and isn't she pretty? She's Wasn't such... she a pretty girl? Oh, she's lovely. Oh, yeah. absolutely. It was so lovely. I, it just filled me with joy, actually, having a little look at that. Um, so, can you just give us the website again, Janet, just yes. so people can have a look at it if they're interested? Yep www.rebeldean.com There we go. So if you're interested and you want to ha- um, go and see him in a show, you can find out where all his shows are. Exactly, yeah. And and you can follow him like Janet does. Yes, like I, I do. I bet there's lots of people like you, Janet. There are millions of us. <laughs> millions of you out there. Yeah. Now, I have got a song lined up for you. And uh, just for you, Janet. This is just for you. And thank you for taking part in but guessing the year with my blast of the That's past. Fine. It's lovely when, uh, when people do that. And it's so nice that you agree to talk to me as well here on the radio. <laughs> so this is just for you. And it's... It is Rebel Dean and it is a Cadillac in the moonlight. moonlight. I've seen the pyramids of Egypt on the top with the view. And a Cadillac in the moonlight. Cadillac in the moonlight. Cadillac in the And that was Cadillac in the Moonlight by Rebel Dean. He's coming up with a new album this year, and I'm going to try and get him on the show for an interview.